Peace out, please. It's obvious. Halloween is lowering your vibration, whether you realize it or not. And let me explain to you why this is. So, first of all, let's understand where this came from. Real quick, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through some of the things. All right, let's see. It was an ancient Celtic festival called Sowen. And they lived about 2,000 years ago, mostly in the area of Ireland, UK, northern France, celebrated their new year on November 1st. So this day marked the end of the summer and the harvest was the beginning of the dark cold winter, a time that was often associated with human death. So that's kind of where it came to be. Um, it, people, I guess, would die because of starvation. And this is where Halloween has started. So the Celts believed on the night before the new year, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred, okay? So this is important to note, the, the, the boundary between the worlds of the living and the dead became blurred. So keep, remember this as we move along, okay? This is gonna be important, okay? So on October 31st, they celebrated Sowen when it was believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to earth, okay? So this is pretty important, you know, it, the world of living and the dead becomes blurred and it is believed that the ghosts of the dead returned to earth so okay pretty spooky pretty spooky stuff and um not sure exactly how they came to this but i i guess it was i guess it was because of the the human death that was going on around winter i'm not i'm not sure but this is important to know as we move along it gets quite it gets kind of disturbing here it gets a little disturbing so the south thought that the presence of the otherworldly spirits made it easier for the druids right or the celtic priests to make predictions about the future so okay they're worried about the future they want to know how they're going to get through this difficult winter okay for a people for a people entirely dependent on the volatile nature of the world these prophecies were an important source of comfort during the long dark winter to commemorate the event okay this is where it gets disturbing the, the Celtic priests built huge sacred bonfires where the people gathered to burn, they gathered to burn crops and animals as sacrifices to the Celtic deities. You see, this is where it gets disturbing, okay? If these people, if these people are making huge bonfires, well, burning crops, okay, they're burning their food, all right, questionable, and then... The animals, they're burning animals as sacrifices. Like, bro, this, this is, how, how, how could this be, uh, uh, how, this is low vibrational. They're burning animals. They're burning animals as sacrifices to these deities that are gonna give them apparently fortune for the future. So during the celebration, the Celts wore costumes typically consisting of animal heads and skins and attempted to tell each other's fortunes. Okay. They're wearing animal heads and skins. That is deeply disturbing. Deeply disturbing, okay? Deeply disturbing. <laughs> and this is where Halloween came from some wicked stuff wicked just straight up wicked they're burning animals they're wearing heads animal heads that is disgusting makes me want to puke makes me want to puke they're wearing animal heads and skins like bruh you know higher vibrational what is higher vibrational like higher, higher vibrational living love 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 they're literally, they're literally wearing these animal heads and skins. There is no love there. There's no love there. There's no love. So this is where, this is where Halloween is originating from. But also, I want to mention, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a clip from a movie that just came out on Netflix. Uh, it's called Hubie something. I'm going to show you some stuff, how this 
Halloween is lower vibrational and it is manipulating. Let, let's get through this next part, all right? So the costumes, bruh. Costumes. In 1000 AD, the church made November 2nd, All Souls Day, a day to honor the, ed the dead. It's widely believed today that the church was attempted to replace the Celtic festival of the dead with a related church sanctioned holiday. Okay, so now the church is getting involved already. I'm like, all right, like, now they got their own agenda for Halloween. Okay, All Souls Day is celebrated similarly to sowing with big bonfires again, parades, and dressing up in costumes as saints, angels, and devils. <laughs> saints angels and devils and what is this L look at this like what? what yeah pretty much pretty much this is just one example there's so much so many nasty 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 costumes that people are wearing heads cut off bleeding and all that's oh disgusting this is lower vibrational stuff people think it's all fun but that's because they're now broke they don't understand they don't understand it this you know this is a spiritual this is a spiritual world this is a spiritual war going on a spiritual war and they love it they love halloween they love halloween i'm telling you because it's lower vibrational so all Saints Day celebration was called All Hallows or All Hallow Mas uh, from the Mig Middle English called All Hallow Hallow Mees, meaning All Sa All Saints Day. And the night before the traditional night of the Samhain of the Celtic region began to be called All Hallows End and eventually Halloween. So now you know where Halloween has come from. You you see now where Halloween has originated from. And I'm not done here. I'm just saying. So now you know where it originated from, and now we know that that the souls, that souls, they believe these ghosts are be, are emerging with this the earthly the earthly realm, right? It's like emergence of the ghosts and physical life, right? And they're burning. They're burning heads, or burning animals, wearing heads, skins, and wearing these demonic, wearing these demonic costumes that are continuously reminding you, reminding you about these lower vibrational emotions and things like fear, fear, like scary stuff, right? You see this? This is scary. It's scary. You think that thing, you see a guy like that? think he's about to kill you or something like that you'd be scared you see someone walking around like that right imagine if it wasn't halloween you see something like that that is the scariest thing on the planet but halloween it's okay but halloween it's okay because because apparently we made it normal for one day to be completely consuming people with fear we made it completely normal for a day to consume people with fear. It's keeping you at a low vibration. Today, Americans spend an estimated $6 billion annually, annually on Halloween, making it the country's second largest commercial holiday after Christmas. Now that is huge. So now we have all this scary stuff. We got these fear, low vibrational emotions going on. And now we have people consuming a bunch of candy. What is candy? It's a bunch of sugar. It calcifies your pineal gland. It calcifies your pineal gland. So you're not able, you're not able to see through this illusion. You're not able to see through this illusion. You're becoming a zombie yourself. You eating all this candy, you're becoming a zombie. You're not able to think for yourself the the critical way that your soul wants you to think. You're 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 completely separated. You're com this candy calcifying your pineal gland is separating you from the divine source. It's separating you from God, from the energy prevailing everything, right? So you see, it's it's impactful. And we think about it like we have this every year, every year. And you know, 
it's not like it's not like we're just we're just celebrating the dead like as in a day like oh you know we're celebrating them it's an amazing time for transition because we know that they're going to be going on to the afterlife they might be reincarnated we celebrate their lives and no it's all about this oh it's all wrong it's all wrong it's all wrong. it's separating us it's up people halloween is not making us come to peace with that that's what we should be getting right we should be coming to peace with it. we shouldn't be completely scared about death because then people are going to be living in anxiety that's how anxiety is created people are living in fear fear of death so you can see how impactful this is you can see it's truly impactful it's completely separating us from our divine source it's separating us from our spirit our soul it's keeping the consciousness at a low vibration and you see these scary movies they have a long history of being box office hits halloween michael myers disgusting i don't i don't see i don't watch i don't watch these kinds of movies i don't watch these kinds of movies because you're putting yourself you're matching your your whole body your all of your cells are resonating on a certain frequency a certain vibration you're watching something you're watching these movies guess what it's doing you're matching that horrific vibration horrific low vibration you know there is the emotional spiral there's the emotional diagram right you're watching movies you're kept at this low vibration you're kept at this low vibration right here this is where you are if you're, you keep watching these scary movies this is where you are i've always known i never i didn't like watching scary movies because i didn't like the way it made me feel it doesn't make you feel good how could that make you feel good i don't get it i never understood it you know these michael myers films the slasher films the scream nightmare on elm street Friday the 13th even even Hocus Pocus has a insane message about the, the witches and the witches who want children they want the, the witches want children so that they consume so that they can consume these kids and give them give the witches a younger look so that they can be immortal and we even see this on Netflix with the show Dark Crystal very woke show I actually like Dark Crystal. Dark Crystal was a really cool, really cool show. It opens you up to what's happening in this world. And so, yeah, I mean, Hocus Pocus isn't that bad, right? It's it's not that bad, but we look at Halloween and all these slasher films. It's keeping people scared, thinking, oh God, is someone, is someone out to get me? You know what I mean? Like. Why would you want to put yourself in these vibratory states? It is completely toxic. Completely toxic. Completely toxic. Completely toxic. Look at the look at how crystals. This is water crystallized. So it's water frozen. They gave, they told the water certain words, right? They told the water certain words. And this is what this is what positive words look like you know beautiful just completely beautiful right crystalline and then there's these words you know these words the negative words look the water is not taking a crystalline shape it's not taking a crystalline shape at all it's not so you have to realize you're watching these movies and you're experiencing halloween you're gonna be like this crystal or it's not even crystallized right it looks this water it looks looks terrible and that's what you're gonna feel like basically you're putting yourself in these, into these emotions it's not good for you and then we have and then we have the superstitions Halloween superstitions walking under ladders and then we have uh, void breaking mirrors, stepping on cracks in the road, spilling salt, and then what else do we have? The black cats, because witches could take off all our black cats, and it's just all fear-based. You see, it's all fear-based, completely. It, this is not, this is not high vibrational stuff. So this is why 
Halloween is not a higher. It's it, it keeps you, it keeps you at a low vibration. So let me show you wow. this clip. Let me show you this clip. This is gonna blow your mind. Ready? Watch this. Of course, candy, candy. Listen to this. See that? And wait, there's more. Look at this. Look at the umbrella. Spinning. Spinning. The umbrella is spinning. What do we know about hypnosis? What do we know about hypnosis? Oh, this video is about to cut off. Let me, let me show you. Hypnosis. Let's look up what hypnosis looks like and let's look let's go back to this one image let's go back to this look at that all right so we see this just take note ready look at that boom look look oh look at what hypnosis looks like right we know as the spirals it, it puts you in a trance hypnotized trance why are they sh why is that why is it spinning right after they say devil devil dancing with the devil and then spinning you also have to hypnosis basically what it does is it, it puts your brain waves at a different frequency so when we're awake we're in beta we're awake and we're in beta when we start watching TV our brain waves actually go into low alpha these are almost like low meditative states it's it's kind of like a trance it's almost like a trance state you're more suggestible. You're more suggestible in these states. When you're watching TV, you're more suggestible. So after about 40 minutes of watching TV, you are pretty suggestible. And then they put in, they also put in this, this element of the umbrella spinning. And we can see that, you know, you think about hypnosis, this thing spins, right? And that's how it puts people into a trance so that they can make people do whatever they want. See, it's manipulated. This whole Halloween thing is manipulated. You have to realize that. Why, why would they even put that in the movie, right? It, and it's spinning. Who, who just spins their umbrella? You know what? I, I'm, you take this with a grain of salt, but I'm just, I'm just trying to point this stuff out to you because I think it's truly important. I think it's really important for you to realize the kinds of things that we experience as a as a society keep keep your third eye your first eye open to what's going on when you open up your first eye you start seeing things for what they actually are halloween is not high vibrational so just so you know this is where halloween came from right the boundary between the living and the dead and it's like it's like what what are you doing around this bon around this around this bonfire you're wearing these nasty costumes it's like you're invoking evil spirits or something like that and the church and the church was involved with this like what how does you know things just aren't adding up things just aren't adding up so i hope this opened up your mind a little bit to what halloween really is and yeah till next time peace oh please keep your mind at ease it's obvious yeah 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 higher force that's the years before they already knew what we had in store open a portal in my mind find your plan watch it expand it higher dimensions to travel and unravel the secrets like a skull from atlantis they may call this outlandish the truth is stranger than fiction you can see it all in the scriptures the ancient knowledge will be hidden they don't want you know of your power Ooh, i be going ghost like i'm in the ass so sneaking out